Hello investors, welcome back. Today we'll discuss six reasons why you should invest in multifamily real estate. Reason number one, economies of scale. If you purchase a 100 unit apartment, you may have all those units under say, maybe four or eight roofs. That's a lot easier than worrying about 100 roofs to repair. Also, you came into these 100 units in a single transaction. That's a huge advantage. <clears throat> Multifamily reason number two, passive income. A lot of landlords talk about mailbox money, but in reality, being a landlord is hard work. With the economies of scale that come with being a multifamily landlord, it's a lot easier. For example, if you're going to renovate the property, you might have only two or three floor plans that you got to deal with. It's a lot more difficult if you have, say, 10 or 20 or 100 single family homes. Every home is going to be different. You're going to have a very different approach to everything, and you're going to have to have 100 different work groups. It's not easy. Multifamily benefit number three, additional tax advantages. Now, every single family landlord knows that owning real estate is a great tax shelter. You can amortize that purchase over 27 and a half years. But with multifamily, you can do something called cost sag, and this will accelerate the depreciation that you can take. What a cost sag study is going to do is it's going to break your apartment into five, seven, and 15 year property. That means that after say five to seven years, you may have actually gotten near 50% or maybe even the majority of tax benefits of ownership. This is huge. <clears throat> now, again, in principle, you could do this with a single family home, but you're not going to be able to pay the cost of the cost segregation study. With multifamily, you've got larger purchases, purchases, and this makes it efficient. Benefit number four, forced appreciation. Now, with single family homes, you can flip a home. You can certainly force the appreciation. But what's special about multifamily real estate is that you're selling to investors. And this means that the value of your apartment is going to be determined by the income it generates. You can get creative. Anything you do to increase revenue or to decrease expenses is going to make your property more valuable. If you find additional streams of income, it gets even better. What if you could put up a cell phone tower on the premises? What about laundry facilities? Could you construct a clubhouse? What about the pool? Anything you do to either bring in a new stream of revenue or to make the rent appreciate is going to cause your property to appreciate as well. And by now, I hope you realize I'm not against being a single family landlord. I'm not against the stock market. There are many ways to invest. However, I think that you'll agree that if you do your homework, real estate for all its benefits, including tax benefits, is going to give you better returns than you can get in the stock market. It's a little more hands-on. Multifamily has all the benefits of single family and the economies of scale amplify. It's like single family real estate, only better. <clears throat> Benefit number five, lower volatility. Of all the forms of commercial real estate, such as industrial, office, and retail, multifamily has the lowest volatility. No investment has no volatility. Do your homework, do your due diligence. You have to be careful. However, if you do that homework, you'll find that some investments have less volatility than other. Now, I invest in equities, I invest in multifamily real estate, and this is great because that cash flow is something that can allow me to kick into equities when the time is right, or vice versa. It's good to be diversified, and investing in multifamily is something that I find to be one of the best ways to diversify. And finally, multifamily benefit number six, legal protection via LLC formation. 
Now, with single family real estate, you have to make a choice. Do you want to take advantage of leverage or do you want the legal protection that comes with LLC formation? Because if you put that house, if you leverage that house, if you put it into an LLC, your lender is not going to like that. They're not going to like that at all. They're going to do something called acceleration, which is a fancy way of saying they want their money right now. So don't leverage your home and then put it in an LLC. That's a mistake. Now with multifamily, you don't have to choose. You can, you can essentially have your cake and eat it too. You can leverage that. And, and here's another problem you have with single family real estate. A lot of landlords will tell you, oh, well, I don't bother to leverage it. Why? Well, because if you leverage it, it kills your cash flow. You're dealing with an investment that's so small that at the end of the day, by the time you pay uh, your principal and interest, you may find that you might only be making, you know, say $200 on that unit. Well, a lot of landlords will tell you, you know, hey, you know, gosh, I'm making $200 a unit. You know, that's good. But a lot of other landlords would say, what am I doing with my time? If I'm managing this property and I'm only getting $200 a month, that's crazy. When the roof leaks or the furnace breaks, I'm toast. So a lot of landlords, they don't bother to leverage the real estate. Great thing about multifamily, it's large enough that you can very easily get yourself a nice non-recourse loan and yet have the legal protection that comes with LLC formation. Ladies and gentlemen, we've gone through six reasons why you should invest in multifamily real estate. First, economies of scale, passive income, additional tax advantages, forced appreciation, lower volatility, and legal protection via LLC formation. Investors, I'd like to thank you for joining me. See you on the flip side.